Hi, I'm Ann from Foundations Press, and I've been homeschooling for over 20 years. My oldest son is 24, and that's all we've ever done. And here's my successful tip for homeschooling. I wanted to show you things that you could get at your local dollar store or just a general store that would be super cheap so that you don't have to spend very much on this part of your curriculum and you can invest in getting good curriculum for math for your kids. Um, one of my favorite things I wanted to show you is these straws. I mean, how cheap are straws? And what I did is I also got some rubber bands and I made 10 in each pack. So I have 10 of these packs and then I have about 10 loose straws. So if you want to show your child place value and you can say this is 20 and this is, let's say, four. So that's 24. And if you need to borrow for subtraction, you can just take some out of there. What about chalk? This is just sidewalk chalk. And in this great weather, why not go outside and do math on the sidewalk? Kids love it. And if you just have an ordinary day and no problems at all, that's a great way to teach. When the weather's not so good, you just need to get one of these easy, easy whiteboards and a simple pen. I mean, colors are great. I just don't know where mine are at the moment. And that's a great thing to do. What about teaspoons and tablespoons? And these are at the Dollar Tree. They're super cheap and you can give them to your kids and they can be part of their supplies. And when they ask, you know, what is a quarter of something? Well, you can show them what a quarter of a cup is and you could get mason jars and add those to that list as well. This one's fun. This one I have had for over 20 years and it's really looking like it, but these are just some Dixie cups and you can set them out. And then this is a bag of buttons and you can get buttons super cheap at like Walmart and you can do all kinds of things with buttons from sorting to um, multiplication. I like to print out a hundreds chart and then put buttons on all the things that we're working on that day. Gotta have coins. Okay, this isn't technically free, but everybody has coins sitting around. So I actually put coins in my kid's school drawer where we keep all of our supplies. And these are just for school and no one's allowed to use them for anything else. And they come in handy for a million different math concepts. What about magnets? forgot to bring a magnet whiteboard out. The one I had here was not magnetic, but you can get magnetic whiteboards or the front of your fridge and do your math with these. It's a lot more fun and sometimes math just needs fun. I got both of these at our local Goodwill, so you don't have to spend very much at all on math manipulatives. You don't have to go, you know, somewhere fancy. Go check out your thrift stores, see what's there, see what some teacher dropped off. I hope this helped.